Well, on this episode of the Ginu Guy, heading out to the creek, we've got our Ginu all set up, we've got the new seats in, everything set up great. So we're gonna head out there. We first though, we gotta stop at our place, St. Augustine Paddle Sports. We got eight dozen mud minnows a day. We do have some dead shrimp, frozen dead shrimp, but we decided to go with the mud minnows. So we're gonna set those up on some knocker rigs and we're gonna see uh, uh, how that works. So let's see if we get on them. Going jet mud minnow on a jig head. Yeah. I do sometimes. I like doing it on the circle hook better, but I gotta rig that one back up. I don't have my lucky gloves on yet either. Oh, do you see that behind the back of the boat? Big fish. Big fish. Ate something at the top of the water. Be prepared, get ready. That's a big one. Look at that, look at he's been he's been bit. Oh yeah. A little red for B. He's got a mark on the back of him. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. Turn it around. He's got like a mark right there. Like maybe been bit, poked, I don't know. Looks like a piece of skin or something, fin in there or something. Teeth, maybe a tooth, I don't know. I don't think so. No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that did look. Pulled something out. Thanks for a big old, it's got a hole there. Yeah. All right, see you later, sucker. You got me wet. Well, we stopped at our favorite dock for a little bit and uh, ended up, B just caught one little red, so we decided to change locations. Uh, the next location we're gonna go, we're gonna go a little bit deeper in the creek, a little bit past US-1. It's a spot that we've caught some big reds in the past, so or hopefully maybe this will change our luck. So let's see if the new spot works out for us. Uh -oh. oh, that's a good one. That feels pretty good. It feels pretty heavy. Not taking drag though. Yeah. Not a big one, but he hit it good. That current. Number two red. Look at how small this sucker is. Actually, he's kind of fooled me. I thought he was a little bigger. So, oh well. See you later, sucker. Man, I thought he was bigger. Oh, oh. What's going on here? What is going on here? I got me a fish. It's heavy. They don't know it's hooked yet. They don't know it's hooked yet. Oh, it knows it's hooked now. It knows it's hooked now. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, it's a good. Oh, is it a ray or a flounder? It's a big flounder. flounder. It's a. I don't think I can keep. We can keep it though. I don't think it's on that date. Oh. No, I think it's like November 15th. It's a big one. What a nice flounder. What a nice flounder there. Why are we not in flounder season? We need to check the date. 17 and a half. It's just October. No, it's like 45 days or 30, 45 days. 17 and a half inch flounder. I'm gonna go check the regulations, make sure we're not missing that date. What's the date today? November something, right? The uh, 7th? Huh? Enclosed October 15th through November 30th. I really won't want him to go back because he's good eating and he's fat. All right, sucker. See you later. 
Son of a biscuit. You don't catch that many big ones back here. Well, December 1st, it's your butt, okay? Because we going back. Oh, well, I'm on something, something pulling mine right now. So far back there. Uh, they got you so far back on the oysters. I got them. I got them. I don't know what it is. Little. It's little. Got a culprit. Oh yeah, a little guy. Here's one of our culprits. Get on out of here, sucker! Oh, we need to keep it red. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, we're gonna cross over in a minute. I think mine's not very big. He's not very big. He's not big. He might be a keeper. Maybe. Nine and a half. Not a keeper. See you later, sucker. I got him. I think I got him, but he's small. If he's on there, he's small. <laughs> trying to bite me, sucker? He trying to bite me. What you doing? I think I got a flounder biting me. I just drug it over him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a flounder. I'm on. Yep, another flounder. Nah, he's good. He's a keeper, but he's not the same one. Yep. Yeah. Thirteen. So, 13 inch flounder. See you later, sucker. Number two flounder right here in this spot. So, you don't normally catch a lot back here in Moultrie Creek, but we haven't caught a few. We have caught a few here in the past, haven't we? So, if you're going to catch them here, I guess this is a spot right after that sandbar right over here. I was dragging it across the bottom and I felt it tap, so I set it there for a little bit, let it eat it good, and then I jerked it. I usually, that's how I, that's how I usually do the flounder, is when I feel a little tap, I let it sit there for about five seconds, and then I'll, I'll set the hook. Because they got a bad problem of sucking on it and spitting it out. Must found us a little flounder hole. Oyster two. Want a fish? Not a really good one. It's not pulling. Red. Red. Number three red today, huh? Just three? Two for you, one for me. There we go, two for B. One red for me, the little guy said it. Hey! Calm down, I'm putting you back, man, it's okay. All right, see you later, sucker. I have him? I think I have him. Yeah, I got him. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he feels pretty heavy, pretty heavy. This is a good one. Mine's a keeper. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he's a keeper. He don't want to, he don't want to, he don't want to cooperate. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Get yourself a little wet. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a keeper mangrove. Twenty-two and a half. Twenty-two and a half inch redfish. He's a strong little fella too. He was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, look at he's just come on man. Know when you've been beaten, okay? Mangrove? Small red? Bigger mangrove? Got one too. Oh. I don't know. Are we on the same thing? I don't think so. But I think mine's a red. It's a little red. This one, oh, this one's a one. This one's a color. Oh, yeah, man. Doubled up. Becky's got a good one. I got a little rat right. I'm gonna get him off. All right, see you later, sucker. Get on to the other one. Come on. Get him, B. Get him, B. <laughs> All right. I doubt it. It's a big old red. It's bigger than the last one, I think. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, that's big. I'm the last one. Right. 21 and a half. Yeah. See if we can switch them out. Let's see if I can get the other one. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch them out. See you later, sucker. Welcome home, sucker. <laughs> Water's everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, that was more difficult switching them out than anything. There's one. Uh, you got it. You got one? He's not pulling. That's a pretty decent one. He ain't pulling the drag. No. Usually if they don't pull the drag, it's usually maybe a little bit under. You got in the net? Yeah, let's see if we need the net for him. Yeah, he's pretty good. He might be a keeper. Yeah, I think that's a keeper. I'm pretty sure it's 18. I think I'm stuck on him. Yeah, uh, almost 20. Almost 20. <laughs> 20 inch red for B. I don't know, how many is that for you? I don't even know. Not too many, it seems like quite a few. Got you another one? Oh shit. The red? Oh, she may have another one for you. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's got a swirl on it. This may be a big fish. Oh, it's a keeper though. Yep, gonna be another keeper. Yeah. It is. He might be cleaning a lot of fish. Yeah. It is. He might be cleaning a lot of fish.
little mangrove. Little, little mangrove. Ooh, this is bait. <laughs> Bait. Do what? Yeah. He looks like he's 18, I can tell you that. Alright, we got another one. Oh, I shouldn't say B's got another one. Same size as the last one, 20 and a half. Run back over there. Well, the wood came off of this thing, didn't it? Yep, roll that. Well, I was just talking good about it. Yeah, I just cursed the, myself. The yep, yeah, here. yeah, the wood came off. The seat? Yeah, the wood. Can you just stay on here and fix it? No, that's alright. It's not. I'll have to take the wood off of it. Yeah, see, right there. Yeah. It's all good. So the spot you see that got broke off was a piece of wood that was mounted on that emu when I actually uh, first bought it. I wanted to take that piece of wood off, but it was like 5200 to that seat and couldn't come off. But I guess uh, that works too. So now uh, I'm going to replace that wood, put an aluminum plate on there, and really keep the flex out of it. So I'll be replacing that pretty soon. Well, we ended up catching about four slot reds. Um, one was almost 23, the rest were like 20s. Um, and uh, we ended up catching a 17 and a half inch flounder, another small flounder, and a whole bunch of mangroves. There was a bunch of rat reds as well. So we had a pretty good day on the water. We're only out for about maybe three and a half, four hours, and we got a lot of fishing in. So thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe.